Hi, this is video number two for section 8.1. Okay, so this is about making, doing piecework. So you're making something, you get paid a certain rate for that. Often you're paid per hour as well. And that's the case on this particular question. Tom sews sleeping bags. He is paid $6.75 per hour plus $1.25 per sleeping bag. During the week, Tom worked 40 hours and sewed 36 sleeping bags. What is Tom's gross pay for the week? All right, so we're going to figure his pay based on hours. Hold on, let me use this little collar. So 40 hours times 675. And so that would be 270. And then he made, he sewed 36 sleeping bags, so 36 sleeping bags for $1.25 each would be $45. And then we add those together for his gross pay of $315. And so that's not a lot of money for working that much, I would say. Anyway, so piecework, pay per item, and you just multiply that and then of course figure the hours the way that we did on the previous questions and let's see what's next okay brock assembles chairs during the pay period brock assembled 376 chairs determine his gross pay based on these piecework rates so the piecework rates are for a certain amount depending on how many chairs he has produced. So for the first hundred chairs he doesn't get paid as much as the second hundred and then after that it's it's more per chair. So let's see he was assembling those. So on the first one we're going to take 100 chairs times a dollar seventy five. So he makes one hundred seventy five dollars for the first 100 chairs. The second, remember he made 376 chairs. The second 100 chairs would be 100 times $2. Okay, it's easy to multiply by uh, 100. <laughs> Just move the decimal two places to the right. Um, and then 225 per chair after that. So now we have taken, he is, um, we have figured 200 chairs. And so we're going to take the 376 minus 200, and that gives us 176. So 176 chairs are how many more he had that were above uh, 200. So 176 times $2.25 per chair is 396. And then we're going to find the total of his gross pay. And that is 771, right? So that is gross pay for producing these chairs. Now notice there was no hourly wage this time. It was simply based on what he could produce. Okay, and then the next kind of um, gross, uh, the next kind of type of pay, I'm sorry type of pay would be commissions. Now often students have trouble with this particular kind of question so you're going to have to make sure that you follow through with the steps and do some practice with this so you understand. Okay if you've worked on commission that helps then you understand it a little bit better. Okay Blanche is a salesperson in a computer store and receives $1,100, a $1,100 semi-monthly draw. So that means that Blanche gets this draw twice per month. So she gets $1,100 two times per month, and that would be $2,200, and this is an advance, advance on pay. So a draw is simply a way for a salesperson to get paid some as they work through the month and then their commission kicks in and they have to replace the draw out of their commission. So these get a little complicated for this reason. So if it's a draw, that is an advance and it's paid against the commission. 
All right. Blanche is paid a 4% commission on, on net sales. During December, Blanche sold 115,600 of merchandise. Her share of sales returns was 2,592. So when she when we figure her commission the 4% commission we cannot figure that on the returns so we have to subtract out the returns so we take the $115,600 and subtract 2592 and that leaves us with $113,008 Okay, so this was the returns, and then uh, the other amount on her uh, is how much she sold, right? And so the commissions paid on net sales. So net sales would be the amount after we subtracted out her returns, okay? So it says calculate Blanche's final commission payment for December. And then notice I put this little note, a draw is in advance and must be deducted from the commission payment. So we're going to take our $113,008 in sales, that's our net sales, and multiply it by 4%, so 4% is 0 .04 in decimal form. So that gives us commission of 4520.32. We have to subtract out her draw, which was, which was $2,200, and so we end up with $2,320.32, and that is her final commission payment, right? Final commission. So this is the amount that we were looking for. And notice we had to go through a few steps to get there and you can't leave any of those steps out. You have to do some calculating to get this all. Okay, Alfonso is a salesperson for a furniture store. He is paid a semi-monthly salary. Salary is not the same as draw. Salary means, whoops, I clicked on the wrong thing here. Salary means that that is part of his pay and it doesn't get taken out of his commission. So $750, he's uh, plus a 5% sale of sales over $80,000. Alfonso's sales during January were, were, were 125200 His share of returns were 3200 Determine his gross pay for January. Okay, so we have to work through a few things here. He got a semi-monthly salary. So that means we're going to take his uh, two times 750, and that is $1,500, and that's part of his salary, or that is his salary for January. Okay. And then we have to work through our commission calculations. So we take the 125,200 125, and subtract the returns. And that leaves us with 122,000. And this one was worded a little different. So Alfonso only gets, sold, gets commission on sales over 80,000. So we have to subtract the 80000 You can consider his salary comes out of that first $80,000. When we subtract, we get 42000 And that's what we will figure commission on, okay? So 42000 times 5%, so 0 0.05, and that is $2,100. Right, and that's commission. To get gross pay, we have to add the commission to the salary, right? And so the final amount, the his gross pay would be 3,600. Right, and that is gross pay. 
the full amount before anything is withheld is right there. All right, and so that's all of this lesson. Um, there are just a few types of examples on this particular section, but you must, must practice. I just, I just encourage you to really uh, practice all the examples that you can. Alrighty, so we're ending this one, and next I'll be on section 8-2.